My name is Amit Agrawal. I'm a Google developer expert for G Suite and this is a tutorial on how you can use mail merge with Gmail. John is a public relations professional and he is often required to send press releases and event invites to journalists, bloggers and influencers via email. Now how do you send the same email to multiple people in one go? Some people prefer the BCC option in Gmail. So you compose a single email, put email addresses of all the recipients in the BCC box and hit send. That's obviously the easiest option for sending bulk emails, but such a generic message will always have a very low response rate. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Mail Merge for Gmail to send personalized email patches to your media contacts through Google Sheets. You will also be able to schedule your press releases in advance and you can also track which influencers have seen your emails. So let's get started. Go to the G Suite marketplace and install the Mail Merge for Gmail add-on. I'll put a link to this uh, add-on in the video description as well. The first time you install this add-on, you'll need to grant certain permissions so that this add-on can send emails from your Gmail to your Google contacts. It also needs permissions to attach files from your Google Drive in your email messages. Once the add-on is installed, type uh, sheets.new in your browser to create a new Google Sheet. And this is where we'll run our mail merge from. Now inside the Google Sheet, uh, the first time you're running mail merge, so just enable the add-on. Then go back to the uh, add-ons menu and choose mail merge with attachments and then select create merge template. Your sheet now has all the essential columns that are required for running mail merge, but you are free to add more columns. For this example, let me add two extra columns. Now to get the contacts into this Google Sheet, uh, you have a couple of options. Uh, you can go to the mail merge menu and import your contacts from Google Contacts. Or if you are a MailChimp user, you can import your existing MailChimp subscribers into the Google Sheet. Or if you are an Excel user, you can export that data as a CSV file and then import it into this Google Sheet. For this example, we will quickly write the data into the Google Sheet manually. Okay, now that our data is ready, I'll go back to my Gmail account and create an email template. So our email template has mostly static text, but if we enclose something inside double curly braces, it becomes a variable marker or a placeholder. And this placeholder would be replaced with the actual values from the Google Sheet. To give you an example, here I have put news outlet inside double curly braces and when the emails go out, this marker would be replaced with the values from Google Sheet. The email body is complete, now let me type the subject line. Here again I can use markers for a more personalized subject. Maybe I can also add an emoji here.
Next, we can add some attachments in our email template. Now you can either upload files from your computer, but since I already have the files in my Google Drive, I will add them to my Gmail directly from Google Drive. Now remember that when you are adding files from Google Drive, you should attach them as attachments and not links. Okay, now that our uh, email template is ready, I'll go back to the Google Sheet and configure Mail Merge. If your Google Spreadsheet has multiple sheets, this is where you choose the correct sheet that has your data. Next, we specify the sender's email. Now in Mail Merge, you can send emails on behalf of any email address that is associated as an alias in your Gmail account. Next, specify the sender's name. Now this would show up uh, when somebody opens your email. Now if you would like to BCC or CC anyone in your emails, you can put their email addresses here. Uh, please note that Gmail counts every CC or BCC recipient as a separate email and thus it counts towards your daily email quota. Next we expand the tracking section and let me provide a name for this email campaign. Now this is only used internally for reporting purpose and not visible to your email recipients. So I want to track who opened my emails. Um, I, I, there are no links so I will uncheck the track links option. Also this is just a one time email so I don't want to add an unsubscribe link in my email messages. So this section is done, we move to the next one where we need to specify our email template. Now you have a couple of options here. You can either use a visual editor to compose the emails right inside your Google Sheet, just like the way we have done it inside Gmail. If you have an email design ready, uh, say you have exported from MailChimp or other email designing software, you can export that design as an HTML file and use the code your own HTML option to import that HTML design into your mail merge. And finally, you can use any Gmail draft as a template. We'll go with this one because our draft is already ready in Gmail. Okay, so we are all set now. Uh, first, let me send a test email to see how the final email would look like. The test email has been sent. I'll switch to Gmail and there you can find a copy in the sent items folder. Now this email is exactly like our Gmail draft, except that the place markers, the, the variables that are inside double curly braces, they have been replaced with the values that are in the first row of the Google Sheet. So this looks good. Let me go back to the Google Sheet and run mail merge on the actual data in the Google Sheet. The emails have been sent and if I go back to my Gmail, you can find all the personalized emails in the sent folder. Now if I have to add more recipients to my email campaign, all I have to do is add their data into the Google Sheet. Now when I run mail merge again, you'll notice that mail merge will only send emails to the new recipients and it will skip e sending emails to the ones that have already been sent. How did it know that? So there's a mail merge status in our Google Sheet and when that status is mail sent, that row is automatically skipped. So your recipients won't receive an email again even if you have run the mail merge again on the same Google Sheet. Now I'll show you a couple of more features in mail merge that you'll find useful. You can schedule mails in mail merge. So all you have to do is add a date and time to the schedule date column in mail merge.
Now you may have noticed that nothing happened when I ran mail merge and that's because mail merge has already processed those rows. So if I have to reprocess a row, I'll have to first clear the mail merge status column manually. The emails have been scheduled but uh, for some reason if you wish to cancel your scheduled emails, you have two options. You can either empty the scheduled date column or you can go to the mail merge help menu and then choose the cancel scheduled mail option. If you have lot of rows in your Google Sheet, you can skip sending emails to specific rows by hiding them. Alternatively, you can use filters in Google Sheets to only show rows that meet a specific criteria. Now when you run mail merge again, emails will be sent only to rows that are visible. With mail merge, you can also send uh, different attachments to different people very easily. Now if I go back to the original Gmail draft, you can see that we have a couple of attachments there and all email recipients will receive every attachment that's in included in this Gmail draft. However, if you wish to send specific attachments to specific people, you can do that as well. So go back to the Google Sheet and highlight the cell under the file attachments column. Now from the mail merge menu, you can add files that you wish to send to specific people in that row. Now you can either insert files that are in your computer or you can pull them directly from your Google Drive. Now when you insert an attachment, mail merge will initially insert the file links in the file attachments column, but when the actual emails go out, these links will be replaced with the actual files in your emails. You can also create drafts in mail merge and this is a very handy option if you wish to review the emails manually before sending them to real people. And finally, if you wish to check who has opened your emails, just go to the mail merge menu and choose campaign reports. You can even get a report of emails that have bounced. So that was a quick overview of mail merge for Gmail. I would also invite you to try document studio. This is similar to mail merge, but for creating beautiful pixel perfect documents. You can find a link in the show notes. Thanks.